Hello everyone, my name is Olga and in this video I'm gonna take you on a food tour in Turkey. We spent a week in Izmir, it is the third biggest city in Turkey with over 3 million people living there. It is also one of the oldest cities in the Mediterranean. My goal is to show you what a tourist or an expat can realistically expect to eat in Turkey. Me and my husband, we did not try to eat only local food or to avoid street food at all costs. We went to nice restaurants as well as local canteens. If we missed something really good, please share it in the comments. We will try and go there next time. If you want the locations for the restaurants, please check out the link in the description. There in the article, I will share all the locations and the names for the restaurants. So for our first breakfast, we will go for a traditional Turkish breakfast. Uh, it's called Kavalti. Here at this cafe for 165 Turkish lira, you will get a two-person breakfast. And with every breakfast, you are served tea in these uh, nice cups. And as long as you're having your breakfast, the cups will be refilled. So essentially, you get as much tea as you want. And here you can see the waiter is serving us uh, all these small portions of different kinds of food. With Turkish Kavalte you will always get vegetables, fruits, potatoes or bread, eggs, ham, jam, olives. I would even say that uh, this much food was enough for even three persons. It cost us 219 Turkish Lira for two people. Next, for lunch, we are going to a cafe called Mado. It's a chain cafe. In Turkey, you can find them everywhere. We ordered a salad and chicken with potatoes and rice. And Mado is mostly, I see they specialize in pastries, but their food is also good. And I would say they are very reliable. You will always find something good there. For dinner, we are going to a pub that was recommended to us by one of our subscribers. And as, as you can see, the atmosphere there is very lively, very friendly. Everyone is very loud. The music is also loud. Well, this is a pub. We tried their beer and wine and Renee said that their beer was good. And my wine was also good, although this pub specializes more on beer. We also tried uh, pad thai there, which is uh, Thai noodles. Because our goal is not to try to eat as local as possible. We wanted to try everything that Izmir has to offer. Even though I must say this pad thai is not exactly the same as the one they make in Thailand. But it is still good and I do recommend food in this pub. Something though that you have to keep in mind is that in Turkey, especially in pubs and in bars, it is allowed to smoke inside. And unfortunately the smoking inside in bars and pubs is something that you will have to just accept in Turkey because it is like that everywhere. Next morning we are going to another cafe for Kavalte. Here it's a bit smaller, also it's a bit cheaper. We paid 142 Turkish Lira for two persons, including two coffees, but they did not have a coffee machine, so for good coffee we are going to this coffee shop called Soulmate. We ordered a double espresso and a latte. The total price was 36 Turkish Lira. Next, we are going to Cafe Plaza. It is a cafe bar in a more of expensive area of Izmir. Here you can see what they have. We ordered uh, salmon and chicken. I really like the food there, but as I said, it is quite expensive. Here is the restaurant and bar street in Izmir and during the day it's a bit empty but in the evening it gets very lively. 
for dinner we went to Traveler's Cafe. It is also more of a cafe bar. You can see they have uh, a lot of travel related memorabilia on the walls and we were lucky we got a room almost empty to ourselves. Nobody else was uh, sitting there. What we didn't expect is that the large beer means this big glass, uh, almost one liter of beer. We also ordered chicken saute with potatoes and uh, parmesano salad. The food was very tasty, I do recommend eating there. And uh, if you want, you can sit in another part of the cafe where it's more lively, more people. But again, there people also are allowed to smoke. So next morning we are going a bit cheaper. We are having breakfast at our Ibis hotel. 130 Turkish lira is breakfast for two people. It is canteen style. And they have cheese, they have ham, yogurt, butter, all kinds of jam. Omelette, sausages, eggs, potatoes. Fruit and vegetables. So this is what we got and also in our hotel we had a small coffee shop where we were able to get good coffee. For lunch we are going to a cafe with this amazing view over Izmir. It is at one of the best spots in Izmir, the famous ascensor elevator. We ordered chicken salad and as you can see as very often in Turkey it has a lot of chicken and the chicken steak. The food was good quality. A lot of people choose this spot to just come and have a drink or a quick snack. To pay you just go to the cashier and say the number of your table. All around Izmir you can find these fruit stands where you can get yourself freshly squeezed juice. The prices are quite affordable. For dinner we are going to a Turkish food restaurant. Prices here are inexpensive compared to the cafes we ate before. And this I think was one of the best places with fast cooked food. We got two plates with chicken saute, rice, potatoes and a bit of salad. And here I am walking towards another bar and restaurant street. In the summertime they get very very busy. Here you can even see, even in March, they are already very busy. And if you're a fan of Asian food, you can find sushi and noodle restaurants in the same area. So now for breakfast, let's go to a coffee shop. It's called Brewmood and this coffee shop I like the best in Izmir, mostly because of the artwork that they have inside. They have cakes, they have some sandwiches. And here are the prices for coffee and other drinks. Now let's take a look at that artwork.
so we got two drinks and a sandwich and to my surprise this was a more Turkish style sandwich because it had uh, hot peppers inside now let's have lunch at this fast food place The main ingredients of the meals that we ordered are essentially lavash, rice and meat. It's a quick and easy and also very cheap way to eat in Turkey. And you can always rely on these meals to be very filling because they always have quite a lot of meat. Now let's go and uh, try to get some takeaway pizza. This cafe called Terra Pizza. We have never tried to eat here before, so let's try and order medium chicken pizza and medium mixed pizza. Here you can see the woman is making the pizza right in front of us. Two medium-sized pizzas were 95 Turkish Lira and here we are at home trying the pizza and to be honest I didn't like my pizza as much and the ones we tried before in Turkey is Domino's pizza and they were tastier. Now let's go to traditional Turkish buffet style cafe. Here I see a lot of locals coming for lunch and traditional buffet style is that the food is pre-cooked and you just point and order what you want. The total price for two people was 82 Turkish Lira. So we got some greens and rice, potatoes and köfte. Köfte are essentially meatballs. And here is another buffet style cafe. Here we ordered potatoes, rice and shredded chicken. This is a pastry cafe and a couple of times we saw a big queue there. So this time we decided to check out what's all the fuss about. We discovered that they sell these bomba pastries. So there is vishne, which is cherry, caramel, white chocolate, coconut chocolate. Uh, Antepti sticky, it's the nuts, green nut, and another nutty one, which one? Mm, I think I will try either Antepti sticky or caramel. I decided to go for Antepti sticky, pistachio bomba. They cook them right there, so they are fresh. The price for it was 8 Turkish Lira and the size it was yeah, quite I small. A box full of them. Yeah. <laughs> How is it? Mm, not too sweet, just right. Size? Just right. Yeah, very nice. So by the end of our trip, we were a bit tired from going out to restaurants and yes, this is how spoiled we are. We are tired of restaurants. <laughs> we are having a delivery from a chop chop restaurant, a macarna salad and a fruity salad. We like them a lot and I can recommend trying. So next day we even went to the actual restaurant. You can see on the menu they have quite some healthy options. Some smoothies, juices, uh, soups, a lot of salads. Also some noodles and healthy wraps. Rene ordered a mango smoothie and he said it's really good. This is their salad bar and we are ordering tuna salad and a vegetable and ham wrap.
the overall price is 215 Turkish Lira. That was our last day in Izmir. I will share more about our trip to Izmir in my next videos. Izmir really exceeded our expectations. We went out for 7 days and every day we saw something new. Promenade by the sea, you can enjoy boat trips, you can see skyscrapers as well as the old city. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.